Jared Hayne's body is black and blue after his purple patch, so he's taking it easy in the lead up to game three. His slow burn is due to bone bruising, not a lack of passion for the Blues cause. You can't really sing our team song in public, so um, I thought I'd just make a bit of a decision and try to come up with some, something old school. It's pretty funny, Robbie Farris' little cousin comes to me after, he goes, we just sung that at our, at our swimming carnival the other week. <laughs> Hayne had every right to celebrate his first series win, but he's explained how close he came to not taking part in game two, as he was struck down by a stomach bug. Yeah, the doc pretty much telling me that I couldn't eat anything you know, for, about, for about 10 hours. That was probably the hardest thing, going to, going to, going to bed starving. Read, read my Bible a bit and just pretty much on my knees, just praying, just thinking, you know what I mean? I'm going to go into a game. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to play at, at my best, and I'm just like praying to God, just going, do, like, please, just like do something for me. I'm struggling here, and I was, you know, I was, I was scared. Even when he's unwell, he's a match winner. The game's eighth immortal is Haynes' biggest fan. Oh, he's the most complete player I've, I've ever seen. He, he's got all the skills. He's got everything. The big challenge for Jared is to stay in the game for 80 minutes. He, he can drift in and out of the game. Origin one, he stayed in the game for 80 minutes and I think we'll talk about that game for hundreds of years. Hayne puts his growth as a player down to his maturity and his faith. He's come a long way since he was shot at when he was on a night out in King's Cross. Hayne rarely parties and says it's a dangerous practice for any NRL player these days. It's getting very dangerous these days. You can pretty much not do anything. You know, you're probably going to have to start going out for security guards soon just to... Do you think that'll happen? Oh, definitely. It's, it has to happen. Look, look, look where the society's going. You, you know, you can't go out and and um, and sort of put yourself out there. You know, if I if I was to go to a pub and and someone wanted to, you know, hit me or something, I, I'm 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 still get looked at as the one in the wrong.